A continuación presentamos el devocional diario traducido al inglés. En español lo puede encontrar de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias por el canal de YouTube. Centro Evangélico Vida Nueva. Dejamos más información abajo en la descripción del vídeo. Good morning, my dear brethren and friends. As always, I'm welcoming all of you to our daily devotional. Thank you to all who follow us faithfully every day. We are thousands that every day uh, wake up with the Word of God and reflecting around it and presenting our day and to our Lord, knowing that He has the best for each one of us. And as always, the best way to start a day is with the Word of God and His presence. We're going to be going to that beautiful and deep uh, letter that Paul wrote to the congregation and the community in Rome. In chapter 1, verse 20, we read a very interesting words that said the following. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Throughout history, God has always wanted to uh, reveal himself to the men. And he has done it for uh, in a lot of ways, so that men will never have the excuse of not knowing that God, invisible God, but that he is clearly visible, as we have read this morning, through his creation. When you observe a sunrise, a sunset, when you look at the firmament, Uh, the birds, the flowers, the, the everything, the sea, everything. We have to conclude immediately that there is a designer, there is a creator behind all that. This has not been created by chance from nothing, because from nothing, nothing comes out. So, my dear brethren, it is very interesting that many have understood that when we sometimes we see a watch, we know that watch has not created itself. Behind all those machinery, there is a creator, a designer, somebody that has made it like that way. So therefore, when we see the sun, the moon, the stars, an ant, an animal, or whatever, we have to be clear that that has been created by itself as a matter of chance. That's why it says that invisible things of God are clearly made visible through creation. So, let's open our eyes. Let's open our hearts. And not be just proud and arrogant, no, thinking that there is no God. Knowing that everything is, is a matter of chance and a coincidence. But re recognize there is a God that everything that is, he has created, because he's almighty. Things that are made, that men cannot do, demonstrate his authority and power. But all of this tells us that before that God and that designer of the universe, we will have to render an account. And that is what many people don't want to recognize or do. To have to present myself to surrender an account of my problems. So that's why they ignore him. And then he says, I'm an atheist, I'm an agnostic, because their pride is impeding them to recognize they depend on something. That we're not here by chance, but that somebody has created us, somebody has given us life, and that somebody was known through his son, Lord Jesus Christ. He was for, through him that men can reconnect with that creator to go into the covering of that God and that way to start a new life. And through these devotionals that I have uh, years doing and sharing them every morning, I'm reminding each one of you that God loves you, that He wants to transform your life and help you and fill the empty void of your heart so that your soul will not be bleeding and crying and always sad so that you can have the peace that surpasses all human understanding and you can know God and experience Him in your life and know His presence every day, wherever you are, however you are. Whether you're sick, healthy, in a jail, whatever, the Lord wants to help you and bless you and restore your life. 
and he wants to show you his life and his, his love for you and his faithfulness. So I encourage you that we pray together to the Lord and we put our lives in his hands and ask his blessing. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for this privilege that you give us every morning, every day, to start a new day with you. Today, Lord, we give you thanks for your creation, your power. Today, we're giving you thanks because we have understood that you are the designer and the creator of what we see and what we don't see. And to you, you we render an account and we honor you and we accept you as our God and personal Lord and Savior. We put our lives in your hands, asking for protection. You as a good shepherd, take care of, our, of us and guide us to the good path. And bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. My dear brethren, thank you for being with us every day. I want to give thanks to all the radio station and TV stations that have dared to put our devotionals to bless his country, his city. May the Lord bless you very richly. Remember to get in touch with us through our webpage, mividanueva.org, and there you will be able to have the information about our ministry and also about our trips to Israel in the month of November. There are still few places, not that many, but take advantage of this opportunity to travel with us to Israel and enjoy this beautiful country. May the Lord bless you and I wish you all have a day full of peace and a blessing of the Lord.